For Israel hath forgotten his Maker, and buildeth temples, and Judah hath multiplied fenced cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. Hosea 8 14 KJV Thoughts on today's verse Please note. We chose these verses over a decade ago. Each reference this year corresponds to its date. August 14, 2024 became Hosea 8 14. This method challenges us to hear verses we often ignore and calls us to adjust our lives and priorities to align with God's teaching. In prosperity, God's people left the Lord. They followed the cultural gods around them and engaged in the immorality of that world. The northern tribes, known as Israel at that time, became secular and pagan, like those around them. They lived immoral lives, forgot to care for the poor, overlooked the foreigners among them, cheated widows, mistreated the fatherless, and took advantage of the powerless Amos 5, 9-15. God's prophets, Amos and Hosea, denounced these vices. God saw and knew their sins. The Sovereign Lord wanted the northern tribes of Israel to recognize they had caused their coming destruction. Their hard hearts and their repeated refusal to live with God's character Deuteronomy 10 14-22 led to their obliteration. As Christians, part of God's chosen people and His holy priesthood 1 Peter 2, 9-12 we must heed the warning of Israel's history. Our lives must portray His values, our hearts must display His compassion, and our hands must do His will, or our claims are meaningless, and our future is tenuous. We must seek the Lord and live, not all the false props of pseudo-religious practices that ignore the heart of God. Amos 5, 1-27. My prayer, Father, forgive us, for we have sinned. Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. We have too often looked the other way and ignored social, judicial, and racial injustice. Empower me, dear Lord, empower us to truly be your holy people, bound together by our faith in Jesus not by our race, age, nationality, political preferences, or socioeconomic status. Please connect us back to you and to each other through our praise and our actions that exemplify your character and grace to our divided and often hate-filled world. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All scripture quotations, unless otherwise indicated, are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version. Copyright 1973, 1978, 1984, 2011 by International Bible Society. Used by permission of Zondervan Publishing House.